Hey Trez, we have got an evening update here. It's 9.35 on Tuesday evening, the 16th of January. Already the 16th of January, wow well, we. So what we're seeing here is we've got a minor pullback on the pound. No entry, and that's the same for uh, the euro as well. No entry there either. So this is the second Forex video. So I did one earlier in the day. And now this is sort of approaching the New York session. Um, both, I mean, that actually looks better than the uh, the pound. But realistically, um, I'd want to see price get to at least here. So it's, you know, that's like 1.22631. The reason why I sort of say that is I, I want to see justify getting out of this sideways consolidation move here what I find is it either does that pretty abruptly or it just it might look reverse or it might just go sideways for a little bit so um, personally I, I won't be taking the trade on this one quite yet uh, USD yen see how that's going so I've moved both the Aussie and the New Zealand dollar to Break even, just a little bit more than break even, so I don't have any risk on those trades. So, um, and we've got the USD yen has sort of strengthened a little bit as well. There's no real trade on that, it sort of bounced off the lows there at our 110.55 sort of region. So, no trade on that either. I'll just check on the Aussie dollar and the New Zealand dollar just because I've been in those now for a little while. It's looking not too bad while we're trading at 72.76 and the Aussie's at 79.52 got as high as 79.78 so chasing 78 uh, 79.86 as a uh, rough take profit, so I haven't quite hit that yet. Um, but I'll, I'll, what I mean by that is I'll move the stop loss and I won't close the trade out. I'm, I'm going to let this one go and see how it reacts to 80 cents if it does get up to 80 cents. So, in conclusion, guys, no trades yet. Um, the thing is, with a small account, you've just got to be picky. You really want to get into a trend not too late and understand that you want to capture the runner. So don't close out a trade too early. That's a big weakness of mine that I found out in my demo trading. Uh, so just you know have good risk management. Two percent per trade is what I'm doing, and really try and capture the trend and let it play out with a trailing exit. Don't sort of come in and uh, close the trade out too early. Even you know if it's a one R, you can you can let it go for a little bit longer. Okay. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Bye for now.